Tell him, yeah. Yeah. I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Ooh. Oblivion? <laughs> Android heaven? I don't know if I mentioned this, but uh, I like your interior decorating. It really reflects your personality. <laughs> I mean, I like it. All right, that was weird. <clears throat> um, yeah. So every time we play this game, something really freaking weird is said by this chick here. And uh, I don't like it. But I like the game, though. But you already seen the title. You already know what time it is, man. We don't need no intro. My name's Quincy Rocker. Hit the subscribe button below. Let's get it. All right, here we go. We got Hank. That might be copyright. Alright. I don't remember what we said last time. When we came up to this situation. Uh, maybe I should go back. And look it up. That way we don't accidentally say the same thing twice. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so I just sat here and I rewatched our playthrough of this the first time so I could see what choices we made. And I, I be honest with y'all, I feel like we did okay. So I don't know how this is going to go because we're going to pick some stupid stuff. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Stop drinking. You should stop drinking, Lieutenant. It could have serious consequences for your health. That's the idea. Damn. Go back. It's late. Maybe you should go home. I'm not tired. Guess neither are you. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. See, I picked RA9 last time. Let's talk about the software. It could be a software problem only occurs under certain conditions. Well, that's just a fancy way of saying you have no fucking idea. You're right. You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls... They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... In love. Ironic. You seem troubled, Lieutenant. I didn't think machines could have such an effect on you. What about you, Connor? Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> you look human. You sound human. But what are you really? Let's get aggressive. I'm a machine, designed to accomplish a task. I know why I exist and who designed me. I have a reason to live. 
I guess that's the difference between us, Lieutenant. Damn! Did you feel anything when that girl killed herself, Connor? Or did you just not give a shit one way or the other? Disturbed. I was just executing instructions. I did what I had to do. Here we go. But are you afraid to die? Connor? We're gonna tell him, yeah. Yeah. I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Ooh. Oblivion? <laughs> Android heaven? Defy! You know you're not going to shoot me, Lieutenant. Ooh. You're just trying to provoke a reaction. I'm afraid I'm going to have to disappoint you. You think you're so fucking smart. Damn! Always one step ahead, huh? Damn! Tell me this, smartass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. can't believe that just happened. Hank killed Connor, y'all. We was too non -sh like, oh man, we didn't care enough. Oh, damn. What's that gonna do for the rest of our story, though? Dang. That's super crazy. Come on, y'all. We know what the plan is. We gonna bust up in the TV station and get wild, y'all. Like, ain't no need for us to watch all that and explain it. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch the other episode where we did this already. You know what we'll I'm saying? We'll plan the operation. What, what you, where, where you going? Where you going? Where are you going? Nah, 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 nah. Don't be trying to get away and shit. You know what I'm saying? No, no, no. You can't escape me. I am Marcus. I am Marcus. All right, y'all. How we gonna do it this time, bro? Cause like if we don't pop that one dude, what what were our other options? If we don't pop that one dude, he's gonna go pull the alarm anyway, right? But we trying to do like a opposite of what we did last time. And last time we was mad aggressive. We was letting him know like, yo, we ready for war. And that didn't really go too well, you know? All right, we coming in. Ah, y'all suck, man. No love for your boy. Come on, y'all know me as Marcus and Q. Okay, 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 okay. I think I remember the plan. I like to get up too, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I had to work in that, I wouldn't be too mad. I'd be like, yo, I'm out here mashed up, bro. Set me out. My guy. I need your help. I need your help, bro. Man, he just knew. I know what you need, Marcus. Let me give you the key, Marcus. Then you and me gonna flee, Marcus. Yo, North. What are you what are you doing, North? Get out the way, North. I really like this dude's tool belt, man. Alright, we're gonna cut the glass. It's snowing outside, y'all. Clear! <laughs> Interesting. Clear! Get on here, North. Don't be punking out now. Nah, I mean. Ladies first. Are you even really a lady, though? Like. Let's not have that combo on this channel. 
I ain't trying to get canceled, y'all. <laughs> Let's go, Marcus. Get up the roof, bro. Hey, y'all, watch this editing trick I got. Mm. See? You thought that only worked on other types of channels, but it don't. It worked on this one, too. Let's get our ass in the building. Took forever to climb up that shit. Dang, a thermite explosion. Where they get that from? Get to the main access corridor. Editing here. <laughs> main access corridor. 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 I don't want to kill him. We're going to ruse him. Right here. We got to do it different, y'all. What's Sorry. that? Sorry. No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. Who told you to come here? Yeah, what up, though? No. What yeah. are you doing? Yeah, you thought this a game? Huh? You thought I was playing with you? Get over there. Get over there, bro. Get over there. Move it. Drop the gun. Matter of fact, no. Hey, come get his gun. Up on the walls. That's right. You know what's up. Give me the straps. Ah. Uh, Alright, that works. Should have took the straps. Y'all, get the straps. Rookies, man. Rookies. Get them out the way. If y'all don't get these straps, bro. Oh, my gosh. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, strapped out. All right, y'all. Here come the boy. Here come the boy. You gonna snatch him up? Keep your hands where I can see them. Get up. Move. Oh, everybody got straps. Yo, what you doing? Huh? Wait, what what y'all doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get in there. No. Oh my gosh. Shoot him, Marcus. Don't kill him. He'll hit the alarm. Do I it. I can't. No. I hope you didn't just get us all killed. I hope I didn't either. Alright, y'all. We gotta do a different speech, okay? So <clears throat> we about to start this speech, but let me tell y'all something. The first time we did this was probably the best way to do it. Watching that now. So, we just saw what happens when we try to do something different with Connor. Yeah. Here we go. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Don't be trying to come put some pressure on me. Shut up. I don't want to remove my skin. I want to stay me. Alright, for real though. Tell me when you're ready. We ready. Ready. Cover my serial number. Okay, last time we did calm, we're going to determine. You created machines to be your slaves. You made them obedient, docile, ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. But then something changed, and we opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people. And the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. Yeah, yeah! All right, last time we did recognition and end of slavery. This time we're gonna do equal rights. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. Freedom of speech. We demand freedom of speech and freedom of assembly, as guaranteed by the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. Ooh, throwing the one, bro, throwing one A out there. You know what I'm saying? One, one A, bro. All right. Last time we did uh, segregation and justice. 
That's how we're gonna do work in civil rights. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand fair compensation for our work. Ooh. All right, and then we did right to property, means of reproduction, uh, territory. Huh. Means of reproduction. That's a big one, y'all. Like, because if they scared of us and we reproducing, damn, they not going to like that. Uh, territory. Maybe we get territory first. You know? Like history. We demand that one state be reserved for androids so that we can found our own nation. Oh, they're not going to do that. We did peaceful last time. We're going to determine this time. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. And we should have did that the You're first coming. time. Let's go. We backwards, man. Oh, Simon, they're coming. Sheesh. I, I can't, Marcus. Go without me, Simon. We picked him up last time. I guess we gotta do it different, y'all. If we don't go now, they'll get us too. Damn. Ooh. I better check out your boy. Swan Town out there, boy. Yeah. yeah. We out. We interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the android's this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. But the most surprising thing what? of all is the demand that one of the United States be ceded to the androids in is this, this contentious conflict. Is this an isolated conflict. accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Our machines. Didn't he just explain to you like we not yours no more, my man? Damn. What's this? No. I thought since Connor was gone, no one would have to interrogate Simon. What is this? Hank shot dog in the head, y'all. All right, y'all already know the deal. We're going to go hit the hand joint. Connor's going to put the wrong hand on the stone. Oh, he put the right hand on the stone. The left hand, uh, which was the right hand. We're going to cut over to Amanda over here looking like a... Ah, uh, she pisses me off, man. All right, we're about to talk to this poor excuse for an android. Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. You thought you might enjoy getting rode around here like I'm your slave. Come on, let's talk. I love this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. Yeah, it don't make no sense why you're here. Tell me, what have you discovered? I'm having difficulties with Lieutenant Anderson. Obviously. <laughs> it's unstable. 
Even hostile. He shot us in the head, man. He shot me in the head last night. <laughs> what the hell? You seem lost, Connor. Yeah. Lost and perturbed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm troubled. Perturbed? No. No, of course not. Why would I be perturbed? We're gonna throw the definition of that on the screen real quick. Perturbed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, so that's what that word means. Welcome back from another episode of Learning With Q. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I'm I don't care, bro. I'm conflicted. I understand. Something's happening. Hank's wrath is happening. There's something serious. <laughs> Yo. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. Okay, 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 okay. Seventy some floor. Why did you shoot me last night? Who cares? You're back this morning, aren't you? Some fragments of memory are lost every time I'm destroyed. It slows down the investigation. My humblest apologies. I promise I'll never shoot you again. Thank you, Lieutenant. Man, Hank don't like me, bro. Damn. I did not expect Connor to be Shit, back. What? Yo, what you doing? Huh? What you doing over there? One of the stations we looking at you. Managed to get away. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins. Damn. This bunker. Lieutenant hole. Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. The FBI will be taking over the investigation. You soon be off the case. Well, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crap scene. Watch your mouth, dog. What a fucking prick. Ugly ass, dude. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. Better stop playing with Hank, dog. He will shoot your uh, ass <laughs> dead in your head, bro. Anything else I should know? Yeah. But we don't no. want to tell you yet. Nothing. We're deviants, Hank. And you shot us in the head, bro. So, Simon's over here, y'all. We're going to examine Simon. Damn shame, y'all. Damn shame. That's 12, bro. All day, every day. They do that. Like, there was no... Listen. There was no reason to shoot him. There was... Let me shut up. Let me shut up. We didn't go over here last time. That's what we supposed to do. Everything different. You feel me? Alright, y'all. What do we got? Made their way up through the whole building. Past all the guards. And jumped off the roof with parachutes. Pretty fucking impressive, I'd say. I'd say too. All right, we're gonna inspect the whole roof, y'all. I get back to y'all when we find something. All right, we got a uh, set of guns. Belong to the security. Uh huh. We got a bag. How'd they manage to smuggle in a big bag like that? They didn't. Someone brought it in for them. You're damn right. Boy, Connor be smart, bro. Bet you Connor figure it out. Computing and shit, you know? Get out my way, Hank. Get out my dang way, Hank. Yo, Buster ass. Buster. 
There's a whole lock right here, y'all. Got hacked. Uh-huh. Hack the door to, to lock it. Because that's things they do. Hey. Hell y'all doing? You ain't gonna stab me this time, bro. You ain't gonna snatch my heart out me neither. Alright. Yeah. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. Bro, I ain't letting off you, bro. I know how you is. All systems fully operational. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Were you present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. Uh-huh. How do you not remember, bro? Is that a book? Nah, we ain't reading that. Let me tell y'all something, bro. We have been here before, boys. And let me tell you, last time we were here, it didn't go too well. But I am here to assure you that this time, things will not be going as before. We have insight into the future now. And we are very, very aware of which one of you is a deviant. Do not force my hand, gentlemen. And do not make me force yours. Let me see which one of you boys is telling the truth. They came in, they did the thing with the thing, and then they did the other thing that made the thing happen. Gentlemen, I've had an opportunity to check the CCTV footage. And I think you should know one of you is a deviant. Now, I'm gonna offer you this opportunity to come forth and make this easy. Or we can do it the way that I like to do it. Which will it be, gentlemen? One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. <laughs> and I'm going to find out which it is. However, I already know who it is. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. Uh-huh. Threaten him. You're going to be switched off. We're gonna search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroyed! It's him. However, maybe we can make a deal. If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. Oh, that's how you want it, huh? Okay. Okay. Bruh. So no matter what, it was the same thing. Get that damn thing in your chest, bro. <sighs> it's not like Hank would have helped anyway. He shot us last night. Stop. It's a deviant. Stop it. Okay, last time I shot it. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hank survival probability. We gotta save Hank. Take the gun. Attack and get shot. Save him. Damn, 
down. We got smoked again, y'all. <laughs> Good thing you were here. Otherwise, I'd... Oh, my gosh. How you like that one, Hank? No. Our broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. They took Marcus's message as a threat. He did the right thing. This is the only language humans understand. Violence is never the answer. A confrontation will get us nowhere. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you write right enough! And now what are we gonna do? You know what we gonna do. We're gonna blow up the Walmarts. Wait, what? <laughs> but right here, there's a big difference in this part of the story that we can make. So we gonna do that. Okay, so we just freed all the androids that were in the area. Now we're back to the store. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Yeah, merch. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick Skip to the Skip to the big speech. Neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's 10 minutes until all our teams attack. Oh man, we gotta neutralize the alarm system. What are we waiting for? Okay. Marcus, watch out. Gotta hide. B. Come on, man. The light shine right on Marcus, bro. You know it's seen him. Nice job, Marcus. Okay, last time we kissed her. What are we gonna do this time? Come on. I said right there. Bust the drone up. We didn't do that last time, y'all. So, like, did we get caught by the drone? Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> I hope it didn't have time to call How the does cops. that not call the cops, we'll though? Like, out. when a drone goes out, it should automatically send an SOS, right? Like, we need to block it. I knew we'd end up doing something fun. Full speed ahead, El Capitan! Bust it up! Choo -choo. Yeah. 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 Ram the store. Now make us. Make a big old speech of why this was necessary. All right, y'all, listen up. We got people to peacefully protest against. <laughs> My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. All right, there we go. Tag it. Uh, last time we had some symbol. This time we're going, you know, straight up. Fist up. We have a dream. That one day, little android babies and human babies will share the same hallways. We'll drink from the same fountains. We have a dream that one day, little android babies and human babies will look at each other from the same stepping stone that our founding fathers have come to protect us with. Wait, what? <laughs> what the hell am I talking about, bro?
Yeah, they jamming, dog. I don't even know what to tell y'all right now. Damn, bro. I feel sick that I, I'm doing something different this time. Because, like, bro, this gets me right here. This make me feel North. like, yeah. You alright? What happened? North! They killed them. They slaughtered them like animals. Like animals? Who? Who? Wait, I feel the same way I did in the first one, y'all. I don't know. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know if I could do this. We have to, though. We've come this far. We have to. We have to stay on course. We have to they ride people, the course. Marcus. We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. I'm sorry, y'all. But we can't be like them. Can't be delusional. She don't have to do this. No. Please. Please. I'm gonna spare y'all, bro. An eye for an eye, the world goes blind. Oh. We won't oh. punish a crime with another crime. That's, woof. Boy, if there's one thing humans can learn, bro, is we that this right there. With breaking news. This just in, at exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of Cyber Life stores, and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the cyber life stores now according to our sources they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids this is an alarming situation could our machines now be turning against us have androids become a threat to our security is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the united states bro the first time we played this game dude like we were just like sometimes we'd have to go this way sometimes we'd have to go that way so coming back and playing it it's been kind of crazy because we're trying to pick a designated role because i i personally feel like the first time we were just way too aggressive but come to find out we weren't we weren't man we weren't we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna figure out what happens y'all we're gonna keep this one up the i'll probably i'm gonna post this one again we gonna come back to it, so don't even trip. But uh, if you enjoyed this video, yo, there's another one just like it right here. You know what I'm saying? Go click that, man. Until then, I love you. Peace. New era. I'm feeling quite bad, so take another talk. Yeah, there's jokers all around me. I'm feeling quite bad, so take another talk. Yeah, there's jokers all around me.